Hey Internet, it's Mia, I'm back, and today we're going to do a little bit of a new series as well. It's called Let's Be Honest. I saw a cat staring at me, and I thought it was a goat. So, that's where my mind's at. So, let's be honest. Today we're talking about movies. Movies mean a lot to me because I'm going to school to make movies. I'm a film major. Um, if you want to know more about that, just uh, ask me and I'll make a video about it. Um, anyways... Today I'm going to be very bluntly honest about movies, and we're just going to address all the things that happen that everyone's like, what the hell is going on? Why is that? What? Why? The first thing today that I would like to address, honestly, is that I do not like realistic endings. Let's just take The Notebook, for example. Great movie, great love story, you know, really like perfect, like, oh, makes you cry and everything, but the ending, okay? At the end, where like Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams say like, you know they fall in love and it's happily ever after i'm like great like awesome like that's it that's great movie perfect love it no what happened was then they continued on because they had to do the whole like old person thing okay maybe it's just me and i have like this thing with like old people like it's just, like freaky like uh, i can tell you about it in another video if you would really like it they give you this whole entire like 15 30 minute ending with like the old people and like she's like freaks out with her dementia thing but then she remembers and then she's dying and then they die together i just don't think there is a reason for that that's just my honest opinion i really don't care for that like ending where it's like oh like oh well in reality like they grew old and he died because his of his heart and like she of her dementia thing and but they died together so it's still kind of like um a cheesy movie right no i just no that's no bueno for me i'm just like a, a solid no on that one i think it's just mostly with the old people thing like i really don't like with like realistic endings where like old people die like that but then you know like in like a movie like like a regular movie and if a if a person like dies in the middle because they're old obviously like i don't have a problem with that because that's like fine i kind of like realistic endings but i kind of don't so who knows maybe it's just that one movie but i feel like there's a lot of other movies that i say like oh like i wish it just ended like kind of cheesy or i wish it just ended like that so let me know what you guys think do you guys like the ending of the notebook or and do you guys like realistic endings where like you know old people die and like you know they continue on or do you guys sort of enjoy the they stop when they're young and you just assume that they live happily ever after and sort of thing i'm not saying that i love a happily ever after every time and all that stuff like you know i love a good bad ending if that makes any sense but you know it just sometimes when things are too realistic for me i kind of like it, it hits me in the soul and i'm like no stop reality stop just some endings really get too real for me especially it's just old people when it gets to old people sorry old people and realistic endings i'm not really for you sometimes but sometimes i am i don't know maybe i'm just really on the fence about it the second thing I would like to be honest about today is horror movies. Uh, everyone who knows me knows that I really don't like horror movies, and that's a fact. The reason why I don't like horror movies is because mostly I really don't like jump scares. Like, I can watch gory movies and, you know, scary faces, but I can't. If the scary face or the gore jumps out at me, I don't like it. It freaks me out. I just, I'm too much of a weenie, I guess. You know, it's fine. Whatever. Make fun of me. This is one of the reasons why... I choose not to watch them as well because they just make these stupidest decisions. If you're in a horror movie, like, you know you have, like, an IQ of, like, 10. Someone calls you and they say, hey there, dude, like, I'm gonna kill you, you know, like, this is a phone call telling you that you're gonna die. And then the people in the movie are just like, alright, thanks, man, <laughs> just thanks for letting me know, like, I'll, I'll see you in a bit, yeah. What? Like, I'm sorry. If you get a creepy ass phone call that's like, hey, you're gonna die, or hey, you better, like, you know, just breathing, like, <sighs> no, that's an immediate red flag. That's an immediate, like, get out of town, I'm out. But apparently, that's not how it works in the real world. I don't know, like, if that really happened to me and, like, some murderous person was like, hey, dude, like, on the phone, or, like, the lights started flickering, like, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Actually, if you go to the movie, sometimes there's this, like, thing, there's, like, a preview before the movie, and it actually makes fun of that. And I actually love that preview, because it makes so much sense. It's, like, the girl, and she's walking up the stairs, and then she, they're like, no, and you can hear the, like, audience, like, you 
dumbass, like, don't, don't go out there. And then she's like, oh, okay. She walks away from the creepy door that's, like, shaking and having ghost sounds. And you know what? She lives. Moral of the story is, don't, don't be stupid. Horror movies, man. Like, honestly, like, can anyone here who, like, likes uh, horror movies honestly say to me, like, oh, everyone in that movie makes the best decisions. No, everyone makes stupid decisions. I don't have any sympathy because you freaking opened the door. Like, oh, that person just put, like, a body in their trunk and they drove away. What should I do? Let's take the car and follow them to a creepy resort inn. When did follow the murderous uh, stranger become protocol? Never trust a stranger. Don't, 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 don't get into any vans. Don't, don't, don't talk to any strangers. Oh, but like, you don't mean strangers by like murderous killers or like suspicious accessories to murder or anything, right? Please. Well, <laughs> It's just so predictable, that's the thing. It's just really predictable, and it's also, like, very stupid. Like, no one would ever do that. Why can't you just grow a brain and not open the door or not pick up the phone call? Like, like, Jesus, like, just think for a second. And, but then again, you're, like, not, it's just a movie, so it's fake. I don't know what's odd about this video. My second point contradicts my first point, because my first point says I really don't like realistic endings, but my second point says I want a more realistic character in a horror movie. I'm very picky. Whatever. Maybe I'm a hypocrite, but that's me, and that's how I feel. I hope you guys like my hat, because I love it. It's got like a little kitty on it, and I just got it, and it's really cool, and I love it, and I'm out of focus. I hope you guys like this Let's Be Honest video. I just wanted to be very candid about how I feel about things, and even though I might be a hypocrite, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about realistic endings, and let me know what you guys think about horror movies and the decisions those people make. I will see you hopefully in the next video. I don't know when that'll be, but I have some really cool stuff uh, planned, and I actually have a few more uh, my first video is about, you know, being Japanese. I think I want to do a few more videos revolving around my Asian-ness. And as usual, guys, stay squinty.